We are just two weeks into the new year, and police say they've already had nearly 100 carjackings in Philadelphia. Overnight, one of them ended in a shootout. Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabeo has more on the city's plan to turn this trend around. Scenes like this are becoming all too common in the city of Philadelphia. A victim carjacked at gunpoint. Police say there have been more than 90 carjackings in the city during just the first two weeks of the new year. It's not even the end of the month yet, and we already, like, 91. It's terrible. One of the latest in West Mount Airy, this carjacking ending in a shootout. The violent encounter happened around 7.30 last night on the 6500 block of Cherokee Street. Police say two people tried to carjack a 60-year-old man at gunpoint, but that would-be victim had a permit to carry, so police say he pulled out his own weapon. He and one of the suspected carjackers, a 16-year-old, exchanged gunfire. Police say the 16-year-old suspect was later discovered shot in the leg several blocks away in a stolen vehicle. Police say that vehicle was taken in a carjacking this past weekend just a few miles away. What's happening here is not normal, and I don't want anyone for any minute to begin to normalize this. And now Philadelphia police have outlined their plan to reduce carjackings. The department will create an operational task force dedicated to carjackings, deploy additional resources to investigate and apprehend offenders, and use plainclothes officers in high crime hotspots. We are truly using every resource available to combat this issue. It's a car. If someone's going to take your car, don't try to fight over the car. It's not worth your life. Police want you to just hand over the keys. They say in that Cherokee Street incident, that would be victim is extremely lucky to be alive. He had gunshot residue on his face. It was an extremely close call. In Philadelphia, Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News.